Welcome to Quick Tips by Wetham Solutions. Today what we're going to show you how to do is disable browser add-ons or enable them for that matter in Mozilla Firefox. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Firefox here and uh, you can see from the tools menu at the top uh, you can just click that and go to add-ons and we're taken right away to the plugin section of the browser add-ons. Now you may be taken to the get add-ons here and this is of course where you can actually search for different add-ons and Mozilla's got quite a few different add-ons that are uh, made for it and you can search for different types that uh, that may pertain to you uh, you also may have had some some add-ons or plugins that you don't use anymore or that were installed with a program uh, that you maybe didn't intend to happen or something that you just know is slowing your computer down and you just don't want to uh, to have it running on your browser anymore Keep in mind that plugins do require a little bit of extra time to load with the browser when you first start the browser up, and of course when you're uh, when you're in browsing session, it may slow down your your actual browsing experience as well. So as you can see, I've got several plugins here within the add-on section. Uh, first of all, I got the Adobe Acrobat uh, PDF plugin, which is a good one just to show you here. Uh, this is actually something that we can use. It's a plugin so that I can just create PDFs uh, just with a, the click of a button rather than having to uh, to click file and then print and then convert to, to PDF. Uh, so this is by Adobe, of course, and it's very simple to disable a plugin in Mo Mozilla Firefox. All you have to do is just scroll through the list here, select the one that you know is causing you issues or maybe slowing you down or one you're not using anyways and just click disable and now that's disabled it uh, for me and if I want to enable it again of course the same thing you can just click enable and it's as simple as that after you've disabled it or enabled it click close and you're brought back to your browser and some may require you to restart your browser and uh, and if so you just have to close it down of course and close each instance of your your Firefox browser and restart it again and you'll no longer have that browser add-on